So correctly selecting solenoid valves and maintaining them well will ensure your equipment will operate efficiently and for a long time. Hello everyone, does your equipment have problems such as failure to start or sudden flame out, medium oil leakage, or even other safety accidents? It's very likely that the solenoid valve is damaged. So a solenoid valve is essentially a valve controlled by electricity. When the current turns on, the coil generates a magnetic field, which pushes the valve core to open or close the passage, thereby controlling the flow of liquid or gas. After the power is turned off, the valve core is reset by a spring and the valve is closed. So in simple terms, it's like a smart faucet. So a damaged solenoid valve is usually caused by improper selection or unsuitable environment. So in choosing a suitable solenoid valve can be considered from the following factors. The first thing, you want to confirm the medium and the material. So if the medium is diesel, stainless steel should be selected. It has corrosion resistance. If the medium is water, brass should be selected, which has a higher cost performance. Once the wrong material is selected, the service life of the valve will be greatly shortened. And number two, you have your switching method. A normally closed valve closes when the power is off, which is safe, worry-free. It's mainly used in systems that need to automatically cut off the fluid when the power is off. It can ensure the safety of the system, prevent leakage. It's the mainstream choice. The normally open valve opens when the power is off. So it's suitable for systems that need to keep the passage unobstructed when the power's off or require the fluid to continue to flow. So don't make the wrong choice. So number three, we have environmental protection. So if the working environment is dusty or humid, you should choose a solenoid valve with a protection level of IP65 or above. So it must be waterproof and dustproof to ensure long-term use. In addition, pressure and flow rate must also be considered. Direct acting type is suitable for low pressure and low flow conditions, while pilot operated type is suitable for high pressure and high flow conditions. At the same time, the interface type and operating voltage must also match each other. The interface type, such as thread, flange, quick plug, must correspond to the equipment. The operating voltage must not be selected incorrectly, otherwise the coil will burn out. Let me summarize this for you. So number one, your medium and material. If your medium is diesel, you should choose stainless steel. If your medium is water, you should choose brass. Number two is your switching method. Do you need a normally open valve or normally closed valve when the power is off? Number three is environmental protection. So if you're working in a dusty, human environment, make sure to choose a solenoid with a protection level of IP65 or above. Number four, pressure flow. So if you have a low pressure, low flow, then choose a direct acting type. If you have a high pressure, high flow, choose a pilot operated type. And number five, interface and voltage. Just make sure your interface and the voltage match the equipment. As long as you make sure to follow these points, you'll be good. But choosing a suitable solenoid valve is just the beginning. If you want your equipment to achieve long-term stable operation, maintenance is also an essential link. If you don't know a lot about this, you can start from these following points. So number one, clean the valve body and the internal components regularly. Clean the dirt on the valve core, the valve seat, to prevent impurities from causing any jams. Number two, check the status of the seals and connecting parts. So replace any aging seals regularly, check whether the bolts are loose to prevent liquid leakage, any internal failures. Number three, Check the electrical connections and electromagnetic coils. Make sure the wiring is firm, there's no short circuits, and measure whether the voltage actually matches. If the coil is found to be abnormally hot, it should probably be replaced. Then number four, we wanna look at lubrication and preventing corrosion. So use oil to reduce any wear, spray rust inhibitor on the outside of the valve body to make it adapt to harsh environments. And then number five, avoid overload and frequent opening and closing. 
You want to select valves with appropriate specifications and matching pressure and flow to avoid the mechanical wear caused by frequent actions. So correctly selecting solenoid valves and maintaining them well will ensure that your equipment will operate efficiently and for a long time. So we hope that you enjoyed this video. It was helpful for you. If you like the video, please remember to click the like button, subscribe, share it with your friends. It's very helpful for us. I'll see you next time. Friday parts, fix it once, fix it right.